Shalom, Rastafari, and here we continue. Um, hopefully we can get into the, the Tyre and the Ethiopian mystery that is dealing with um, Psalms. Or it's embedded, it's the Rhema. It's the Rhema word of Psalm um, 87. Psalm 87. So we, we addressed uh, Psalm 68 in the previous portion. This is a series here that we put together. Um, or that the Holy Spirit has inspired us, we still have to, you know, choose a particular name for each part and everything. But basically, um, this this message right here, um, we we had our message that we intended to um, to to share, and then the Holy Spirit gave that rainbow word. So we look at the constant word, and He gave that rainbow word. And we've been moving in that rhema word, and um, we've been told that we've been at it for almost nine hours, right? So roughly we got nine hours of reasoning and and teaching on this, and and certain um, points on this is very very interesting, including um, we had to write some of it down right here about we dealt with Jah is not Jabalin, you know, um, rebuking the slander, the slander right here, and you go to Revelation, you'll see how it says in this time that they will slander the holy ones and those who dwell in heaven. Remember, we're in the kingdom of heaven, or we're in the kingdom of the King of Kings and his Christ. So this is going to continue on the Tyra. Um, Elizabeth, the uh, English queen, she represents the Tyre part of the mystery. And then we have the King of Kings represents Ethiopia. All right? All right. So... Um, you know, really, we dealt with this about the, was a Freemason, question mark, how it's a, a tricky sentence, right there, they put a question mark to throw you off. Really, when you ask the question, you say, was such and such, but they say, how such it was a Freemason, but define terms first. When you deal with these people, define terms. If they can only explain back to Eurocentric masonry, it's like somebody who's into hip-hop, but they can only go far back as Eminem. You know what I'm saying? That means they, they're not really into hip-hop. You know? We understand that one right there. So there's a page here that's on the tire right here, this one that we touched on right here, which if you, um, it's on uh, tire, what do we put here to search this one here? It's on the tire and King Solomon Temple. The tire and King Solomon Temple, right? And um, it's based on the scripture based on some cryptic parts of of the scripture. In fact, this was compiled by D. Um, Finney. D. Finney. And the Old Testament prophet Ezekiel, or his P.L., he once said that the ancient Phoenician city of Tyre, he said to them, and the king of Tyre, you have corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor and power. And this is what what's happened with the British you understand, or the modern um, English, British, and, uh, you know, with, 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 with the mother, right, Babylon, or Leviathan, if you look up Leviathan and you look up England, they'll show you this monster of scales, like a man who covers with scales rising up, and this is to show the great power of England in the sea trade, you know, they say the English Empire, which the sun never set, and if you listen to the Britannia, the hymn, which is the same as the American anthem. It's, it's really weird there. But that shows the mother and daughter, right, the mother and daughter relation right there. Now, um, there's also, um, um, you know, wine is strong, the king is stronger, and they say women are the strongest. But the truth conquers all, right? They say Rosalind Chapel. Now, uh, Ephesians 5.11 says, have nothing to do with the evil deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. Mm-hmm. And his imperial majesty, Kadamawi Haile Selassie, has exposed them. Haile Selassie I has exposed them. Now, in this article right here, we were here, and we was pointing out Tyre. So you can understand Tyre, the city Tyre, right, where the city Tyre is located. Now, if you see right here, here's Arabia, and here's just the horn. This is how they cut out the cut out Ethiopia, just that northern half right there. But this shows what, what window they're looking at. This is that, that square, if you really look at it and look at Revelation, when talk about this 
this new city or this crystal city or New Jerusalem at the city to Jerusalem coming down. They measured it, and it would be that uh, roughly that measurement. This is the, what they call the 1040 region of the world, right? The 1040. That's what they call the Middle East. So you see Egypt, you see Sudan, you see Etera, Etera or Eritrea, right? You see Ethiopia here, and you see the Horn, Somalia. Now right here is the Gulf of Aden or Aden, right? The Gulf of Eden. Now Syria's in the news, right? Syria's in the news a lot, right? And that's affecting Lebanon and so forth and so on. So this whole region is on a tinderbox, is, on, is, is bubbling and, and boiling. But then Yeshua HaMoshiach, our black Lord and Savior, he told us, right, that there would be, um, that there would be days, right, there will be days like these, all right? So we're not to, you know, we're not to fear, you understand, when we hear these rumors, right? So we're supposed to know when is the beginning, when did the water break? Some say Katrina was that water breaking, right, or the tsunami. Others say the tsunami was that water breaking, you understand? Um, when it says that these are the beginning, right, these are the beginning, you understand, of trouble. This is just the beginning. So is this the beginning of the end or is this the end of the beginning? Um, we see it as the end of the beginning of these uh, prophetic signs that are going on, all right? So give thanks to the Russian Orthodox. You know, the Russians have their part to fulfill in this. Some say it's Gog and Magog, you understand, but we, uh, you know, we worry, we fear not. The other thing we study and show I and ourselves the proof to God as workmen and workwomen that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So in order to understand what what Psalm, let's bring this up right here, what Psalm uh, 68 is speaking, I mean, well, we know Psalm 68, very important Psalm. We've got to check out that portion right here. But now we're looking up foundation, right? Foundation. Now we notice that it says... Uh, uh, okay, it doesn't come up here. Sometimes the search will do this. You know, some of the searches, like this one, is very word specific. You understand? So if the word is plural and you look up in a single, you're not going to find it, find it, right? <laughs> right? Okay, so right here, we're on foundations, foundations and groundation, right? So this is another site that we have here that we started out with. We look up his foundation, Selassie, and OOCities.com. All right? So for all the brothers and sisters who are co-ministering and co-laboring with I and I, go check out this site. It's our Melchizedek Edek site that was used to be up on the, um, what they call that um, city? GeoCities. It was on the GeoCities. Now they have OOCities. Mm-hmm. And so when you go here, you know, but then you'll see there's, there's links and links. Some of the links are not working. Some of the links are working. You know what I'm saying? And if you keep going through all the links, it's very interesting what you will find. In fact, we found our Ethiopian repentance. You know what I'm saying? The Ethiopian repentance that actually we had um, spoke of that from like 2001 because that's when the syzygy, May 5th, I think, occurred in 2000 or 2001, that alignment, the erection of the Grand Cross in the heavens, all right? We know that the heavens are for sign and seasons um, for days and, 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 and for years, all right? So when we click on this site right here, O.O. City, or you can look up the Mystery School of His Imperial Majesty, His Foundation, right? His Foundation, right? You'll get this link right here, all right? So we click on this right here. Some of the pictures don't come up. You understand the picture of our father that would slide over and come up. It might come up in your browser, but it doesn't come up in this browser. Some very important information for I and I, the overstand, and for the co laborers and the co ministers. You understand, this was like a first word. We almost, you know, after we lost those sites, we thought they were gone, but all thanks and praise be to the Father in the name of the Son that we still find these sites right, right here. And it speaks um, to us, especially for a time like this. So for all the brothers and sisters in the society of His Majesty and, and going about with their labors in their community, with their ones and their twos and their threes, you know what I'm saying? This is a very important page um, to check out 
and we'll reason a little bit more on this, speaking about the Rastafari Lodge, L-O-J, um, Rastafari Order, and the future plans. Now, we're not under Scottish Rite or York Rite, we're under Nazarite. That's what a lot of these folks right here don't copyright. You know what I'm saying? They don't copyright, suggesting that he was a Freemason, like suggesting that Eminem was, you know, the founder of hip-hop. No. When we see a Mason, we dealt with that in the earlier part. You know what I'm saying? So if you've seen this part, look at the earlier part that basically deal with the definition of term concerning Masonry, right? That's why they can't say, well, what, what, what order was he? You know, what level, what degree? Show us a picture of something. We have all sorts of pictures of his imperial majesty. And they would have these and they would throw it in our face if they, if they had um, such things. But now let's go here as we get into um, Tyre. Now there's two parts of this. If you look up Tyre in the Bible search, right, um, some very interesting, you got Huram, Hiram, Hiram who was the king right here, right, and sometimes it's called Huram, the king of Tyre, how he furnished Solomon with fetters, you understand, to build his house, and also with David, you understand, then we have here that the one who was a widow's son, this is where they get the son of the widow, right, of the tribe of Naphtali, and his father was a man of Tyre, working brass, and he was Onas, and he was filled with wisdom and understanding and cunning, and cunning to work, all works in brass, and he came to King Solomon and wrought all his work, so they were servants. We find this here with David in 2 Samuel 5:11, and Hiram, king of Tyre, sent to messengers, sent messengers to David, and cedar trees, and carpenters, and masons, and they built David and house. You know, so they built David and house, just as the demons were under the command, and all the masons and the builders of Solomon. You understand? Know so were they for His Imperial Majesty. But then came the great apostasy, the falling away, which caused the breach in the fellowship, like the Iscariot and Judas. All right? So as we go down Tyre, you see a lot of Hiram. This is the real Hiram. Right? This is the real Hiram. Now we have Zidon, Typhonian. Sometimes it's spelled Huram. Huram right there. Right? Then it's Hiram right here. And then Hiram or Huram, the king of Tyre. So they change it up in the King James here or there. So you have to make note of that. That's why we have to study and show ourselves approved to God as workmen that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, he answered in writing, right, which he sent to Solomon because the Lord hath loved his people. He hath made the king over them. This is how he wrote. You know what I'm We find the same kind of writings from the British or the English monarchy to Haile Selassie the first. So we go on and we recognize that these tired people, they have some skills. That's why they say some of the things were made in England by the English. You know what I'm saying? But people try to flip it, you know what I'm saying, playing when you're ignorant. Now, right here it talks about their dwelt men of Tyre, also therein, which brought fish and all manner of weir and sold on the Sabbath to the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. Like they get us to break the Sabbath even right now. You understand where the sales be on, on Saturday. You understand, and then folks, they violate the Sabbath. Now, the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. You see what, you see what it says that? The daughter of who? The daughter of Tyre shall be where? Shall be there. Right? With a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat whose favor? Shall, shall entreat thy favor. Shall entreat the favor of the king of kings. And we have this very same thing going on here. Let's see if we can um, find this uh, picture. You understand? When, when the English queen had uh, visited um, Ethiopia, right? It may not be here. It may be in the other suitcase. You understand that we have, right? Oh, you see it? Okay, let's see right here. Where it visited, all right, um, it's a little bit slow right here. Well, this is, this is one of the pictures right here, when, when the English queen and her, and her duke, you understand, and her duke, you understand, and her Marduk, you understand, he showed up, right, and we see it right there, you understand, the king of kings, and there's another eye trade as well, 
There's another eye trade as well, Miss Ghana. Give thanks. There's another eye trade as well that we really wanted to show you. And we was collecting this early, and little did we know that the Father would have a, a revelation for us and for for all of us. Because the revelation for I and I, we haven't got to sit down and, and to take notes of this ourselves. So please, you know, take these take these notes. There's another picture here that we want to get to, see if we can get to this picture. So it says that the daughter of who? Not the son of Tyre, but the daughter of, of Tyre shall be there. That is the English queen. So if we speak about her prophetically, you know what I'm saying? We're speaking about the English queen, all right? The daughter of Tyre, she was there, and she presented gifts, you know what I'm saying, to the king of kings. You know, was, and so what we're seeing is the Bible actually, you know, revealing this particular um, truth for I and I, and two I and I, in this, okay, it's probably the other suitcase. It's probably the other suitcase, uh, the, the, I think the Yad suitcase. The suitcase of the hand that the picture was um, put in. That's one of the pictures that we show you right there. But there's another picture where they have the Chisasai waterfall. And it's very, very interesting. You understand? Because, um, in fact, uh, uh, let's just do this right here for, for a quick time, a quick moment right here. Let's clear this, right? Let's clear that right here. Put that down here. Where's Yad? There's Yad 1, right? All right. Um, let us open this right here, okay, this folder. And let us explore. Let's explore what do we find. Because you have to see this so that the scripture makes sense in reality. You understand? So we have the word, right, the logos or the constant word, and then we have the rhema of it being revealed to us in these uh, latter days and times. So, um, the English queen, she came and visited Ethiopia, right? She said a bunch of lovely words and everything. There was a covenant of peace, you know? Originally, the Ethiopians didn't want them there because of what happened under Victoria, you understand, and, and Pedro, and the looting and the stealing that went on at um, Mekadala or Magdala, right? And, um, but then the British claim, you know, to be of the same household of, of David. Now, that's from the black, um, nobility. That comes from the black nobility time, you know, this. And so we have a period of time where they begin to admit some of these things. But then after the godless and creeping dragon coup against the goose and the guests, they cover all of this up. You know what I'm saying? Now a lot of this is beginning to, you know, sprout out. You know what I'm saying? The truth is um, sprouting out of the earth in, in various ways that is really proving um, what many of us in faith, many of us didn't have all the, these pictures and all these documents and all these evidence. All we had was that constant word. Here's another picture right here. So you can see the, the um, what they call her, the daughter of Tyre. Right? The daughter of Tyre. Right? The daughter of Tyre is there with a gift. Right? Let, let, let's, let's see the daughter of Tyre is there with a gift. We see that right there. We see his majesty standing right there holding the scepter. You know what I'm saying? Um, they look, they look uh, happy, don't they? You know, you know. So it's, it's very, very, this is very, very interesting. Now, here, I think, when this picture finally shows up, you know, um, you, you, you see what they are trying to do. Boom. There we go right there. Right? There's the daughter of Tyre right there. And let's uh, get a little zoom in so you can see exactly. And you can actually see the word sound, too, or read, you know, what she said. You know, that's what we called it in our video. Ethiopia Zion 2012. This is why we say there was a covenant of peace. This took place in Ethiopia. And so this is not the British uh, palace or whatever like that. This is in Ethiopia. All right? This takes place in Ethiopia. I want you to recognize. 
So she says a bunch of fear-seeming words. Yovas, remember, by your words you will be justified, by your words you will be condemned. So we have a period of time, like roughly so far 36 years. And, you know, some say the old battle axe is holding on. But she's not repenting. She's not apologizing. You're saying there's no repentance. In fact, it seems that the bankers, the London bankers, really control her soul. What a shame. Perhaps she's afraid to speak out. Perhaps she has willingly, you know, said, 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 ethic, the overs in her own way. Regardless of, 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 of whatever that's about. You understand? We're in a very prophetic um, time. There's, there's, there she goes again. The Elvis, but w w since we come this far, let us try to find this. Um, okay, this is another shot right here. We have a video. In fact, um, not right here, but we have the video. In fact, we was uh, um, looking at this video, and there's a lot of stuff going on by the British monarchy right now. Right, there's a lot of stuff because they're trying to set up uh, Valheim, the Elvis, and to uh, go in front of his father, but they're might be some um, infighting amongst them, you know what I mean, most, most likely, especially as the children rise up. Here's another shot right here, right, here's another shot right here, right, that's another shot right there at, at the Chister side, right, and when you see her in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the safari vehicle, the Jeep, she seems so happy, she seems so relaxed. When you see her, like there in the first picture of her husband, and she seemed the most stressed. You know what I'm saying? When you see her by herself with majesty, she seems so very, so very relaxed. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we have to speak this word. Some say she's not going to repent. Well, I mean, we can look at the prophecy, we can extend that and say, well, perhaps, oh, here it goes. This is the picture, folks. You know what I'm saying? Brethren and sisterin. Right? This is, and mothers, that's the picture right there. There you go. You know what I'm saying? There you go. The one with the scepter. You know, let's, let's really see who's really in charge. You know what I'm saying? Who's really in charge. But a conspiracy occurred. You know what I'm saying? A conspiracy occurred. We, we call it the palace conspiracy, like the cherubim in heaven. A conspiracy occurred. All right, so I just want you to focus on this for a moment. Take it in, take it in. She seems so very happy. Even when she's in the van or the, or the, um, the Jeep and everything, she's looking at the Ethiopian, some of the tribes, you know, um, dancing and greeting her. And she seems so very relaxed. But then when you see her with her husband, she seemed a little stressed. You know what I'm saying? When you see her in England, you know what I'm saying? She seemed a little stressed. Remember, it's the London bankers that really control. They really control that, mon that monetary interest. Those are the cryptic Jews or the Rothschild Jews. Mm -hmm. Those are the Rothschild Jews. See, you say the name, one of their little bugs come up. Another one of their bugs come up. You understand? They're bugs. You understand? They're bugging it. They're bugging it. But, you know, fear not. So, now that you see that, and there's other photos right here, you'll be better able to understand what it means when it says, and the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift, and the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. You see his majesty, you know, greeting the ones that all coming to him to bow and bow very deeply. You understand and bow very deeply. All right? And so it says um, in Psalm 83 and 7, it speaks about Gebal, Ammon, Amalek, right? And the Philistines, right? And the inhabitants of... Um, the inhabitants of Tyre, the inhabitants of Tyre. So Tyre connects with that English. Because you have to recognize how it really went from Tyre to Spain, you understand? And then we have Jezebel or Elzebel and Ferdinand and the expulsion and persecution of the black Jews and the, and the black Muslims or the, the Moors, the Moors and the Amhara, you understand, who were there. Now we're at this part right here where it says 87 and 4, I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me, not to the ignoramuses. Behold, Philistia, Palestine, right, and Tyre. With Ethiopia, this man was what? This man was born there. Now let's look at Tyre. 
See, England has a prophetic connection with Tyre, especially in these last days, right, of Gentile white supremacy or the Gentile world dominion, the dominions, right, the dominions, right? Isaiah 23 and 1 says the burden of Tyre is a burden that's upon them. The burden of Tyre, how ye ships of Tarshish, don't say Tarshish is doing Spain connection right there. Others say it might be Japan, but there's a connection. For it is laid waste. So that there is no house, no entering in from the land of Chittim. Chittim is a Chittite land or is Turkey, right? It is revealed to them. Then it says in 23 and 5, as at the report concerning Egypt. This is why you ask yourself, why do the, the, the English have this Egyptian kind of connection? You know, even they have Anubis and they bring him in on a bark, on a boat all these kind of ancient kind of uh, rituals that come out of Egypt, right? Um, okay, they want to they wanna bug us, you know what I'm saying? So we have to debug them right there. Yes, we want you to take that off, right? Okay, so it says, As the report concerning Egypt, so shall they be sorely pained at the report of Tyre. Remember what happened in World War II? Mm-hmm. When they, in a nefug way, been nefuginet, you know what I'm saying? In a very stingily way, I think they offered His Majesty one musket. It was actually Adolf Hitler's um, Nazi Germany that actually sold um, guns and munitions to Ethiopia against um, Hitler's ally. You know what I'm saying? The so-called uh, uh, fascists. I mean, very interesting. Well, the power of God can make those things happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, when we look at uh, 23 and 8, who has taken this council against Tyre, the crowning city? We're talking about London City, right? Whose merchants are princes, whose traffickers, you know, that's the way they spelled that movie, Traffic. There's two traffic movies. One is the uh, American version that was made after the, the English version, and it, the English version is Traffic with a CK. They like to spell things that way whose traffickers are the honorable of the earth. The honorable. They use that a lot, right? Honorable, such and such. Honorable, Lord, this, sir, this, saw that, right? 23 and 15 says, And it shall come to pass in, the, in that day that Tyre shall be forgotten 70 years. Right? 70 years. Right? We're in that space and time. 70 years is the end of um, World War uh, not World War, it's the end of the, the fascist occupation, 70 years. If you add 70 to 1941, what do you have? Right? 70 to 1941 is 2011. And this is where the inspiration has come to I and I and others to begin to speak out on these things. In fact, we just left the English queen alone. You understand? But the Almighty says, speak. She'll be forgotten 70 years according to the days of one king. Right? Of one king. Which king is that? According to the days of one king. After the end of 70 years, shall Tyre sing as a harlot. I mean, look what's happening in England. You know what I'm Look what is really, really going on. She's singing like a harlot, like a whore. Right? Now we have 23 and 17. Isaiah 23 and 17. It should come to pass. After the end of 70 years, that Yahweh, right, yod Hey wow Hey, he will be who he be. His divine majesty will visit Tyre, and she shall turn to her higher. She shall turn to her prostitution and her prostitution, right? She shall turn to her higher. Now, who controls England, right? Who controls the British monarchy? All these documentaries and videos. From all sides, says it's London, the city of London, the city of London, as His Majesty says. So she shall turn to a higher, and she commit what? Fornication, right? Fire. She shall commit fornication with the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. This is that commonwealth stuff, committing fornication. Now, look what Joel says right here. Look what Joel says right here. Joel says, yea. What have ye to do with me, O Tyre, and Zidon, Zidon, right, and all the coasts of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me, 
swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. Right? Now, notice uh, what, what Christ says right here. He says, Woe to thee, Chorazin. Woe to thee, Bethsaida. Right? There's a hot spot thing in Ethiopia on Bethsaida. For if the mighty works which were done in thee or in you had been done in Tyre, in other words, if his majesty has happened to be the a king of England, you understand, not the king of kings of Ethiopia, right, and Sidon, right, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. So we're speaking about the Ethiopian repentance. They would have repented long time ago, right? They would have repented long time ago. Boom, right? Now, now, um, there's a, there's, there's a couple more. Let's just go through these quickly in New Testament so you can understand what the Scripture says. Because that page about Tyre and King Solomon, right, the page about Tyre and King Solomon also has a very, very important um, link down here. So here we have Tyre, right? And it says, but I say to you, right, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and, and Sidon at the day of judgment there for you. So Ethiopians repent, repent, and this hard gibble, right? Then Yeshua went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Where did Christ go? He departed to the coast. What happened concerning um, his imperial majesty? Right? He also departed to the coast of Tyre. You understand? Speaking about England. Yeah, and Bath, England. Right? Let's go down this page right here. This is the King Solomon page, right? And so it's talking about um, Rosalind Chapel. This was built by by black Jews, Christian Hebrews, Ethiopian Hebrews originally, before it was taken over, right? And then other symbols was added in there. You know, they like to do that. You see what's happening with hip-hop. They don't really sound anything like hip-hop that those of us who grew up on hip-hop know, right? So we have these pictures. Where's the, where's the picture of his, of his majesty? There you have um, the ski on, right? There you have um, the daughter. There's the daughter of Tyre. You understand? Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth the um the second, right? Elizabeth the second. And see they break it down here. They say David's lineage could be here in Britain. They're telling you right here. The king's daughter daughters were spared according to Jeremiah forty one ten to seven. Jeremiah forty three to six. This is what they said to his majesty to be invited to the coronation, right? Um this Hebrew princess T L Tepe she she married what a dark Irish king. It says so right here. She married a dark Irish king. Go to the page and look for it yourself. Right, a dark Irish king whose name was um, Eo uh, Kaid almost like a Nazi. Right, the um, Heremon, the Heremon, right, the Herman, right, Herman, Heremon, with uh, Jeremiah's blessing, with his barakat. Now, in Irish folklore, it says that the old patriarch came with this Israelitish princess, right? Israelitish. You understand? So, remember, if you have one drop of uh, black blood, uh, they say that you are uh, black, right? So, what do we have here? You understand? So, what do we have here, says the Lord God, right? What do we have here? So, uh, what do we have here, saith the Lord God, right? What do we have here? All right? Um, so let's recognize that scepter, that rod. And you know, his, his majesty is not nervous. He's not, which comes, she seems very pleased, or she's acting very pleased. And even very happy over here, if you look at this picture. You know, saying she's, oh, look at that over there. Wow, that's so beautiful. Right? Uh-huh. Now, you see her right here. And you know what I'm saying? And we have to really understand this in love, in the love of God, because God has great love. You understand? He's a love of humanity. He's not willing that any should perish. You understand? Besides the child of perdition. Right? So let's go back to Tyre right here. So it speaks about in the Irish folklore that it says that the old patriarch came with this Israelite, right? Israelitish princess. Now, they came with a stone, a harp, and an ark or a chest. Now, if you check the site of uh, coronation stones, so you hear a lot of talk among the, the, the British, Israelitish, so forth and so on. But they deny out of, out of the demonic um, um, deception because of their racist uh, black blood. 
You all of a sudden they have a hatred, an arrogance, like the fallen demons, because they are possessed. Jeremiah and the princess were Shemitic. They say right here, brown, not white. They're telling you right here. You understand? And this is not a Rastafari page, but it does mention the truth that Jeremiah and the princess were Shemitic. They were brown and not white. So ones need to learn that. Ones need to learn that. You need to recognize that. The over saying you need to learn that. It is said that the birthright did not did go to Ephraim. Ephraim and not to Yehuda. Right? Not to Judah. Judah had two sons, Zara and Phares, by Tamar. Phares is where the Judaic kings excelled and rose from. Phares, right? Remember Phares linked with um Pares, Ferres, right, and also Persia. That's why um, Iran is the end of the Babylonian matrix. So all this talk about attacking Iran, you know, watch and pray, brothers and sisters. Pharaoh's lineage was always caught, always exalted, but it did, but it shall fall. And Zara would be recognized now. The Zer, like the Zera Yaiko. Now it goes on into the Israelitish stone. And when we get through all of this, Right, some very interesting information right here. Right, when we get through all of this, who do we see? Yep, we see Abba, right? We see His Majesty, the Imperial Majesty, in 1935. Now, it's interesting what is mentioned down here. His Highness, the Duke of Gloucester, came to His Majesty and said, Your Imperial Majesty, my father, King George V, wanted to give you this. Here is the scepter which we stole from Ethiopia. Here is the scepter. He admitted it. You understand? Which we stole from Ethiopia. We shall serve your imperial majesty. Right? Really, it's the fullness is to the end. But now you see something funny happens. Right? We see something funny happens with Edward and how Edward dies and how um, Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth, she is in Kenya. And she flies back within 24 hours. The bankers got to her father. You understand? With his majesty's protection, they didn't get to her until the careless Ethiopians, those who violated Article, what is it, 31 of the Constitution, the, the 55 Constitution, they violated that. And they got inducted into these secret societies, many of the Ethiopians, the careless Ethiopians. That's why they came on a mission. You know, then to, the, to take his majesty off the throne, and they felt that they would rule. But, you know, they had a plan, and his majesty had the plan, and his majesty is the best of planets. So the scepter of the house of Yehuda was given to Ethiopia. It is said that his, his majesty sent a gift for George the V, or George V for victory vendetta. Is that what we're seeing? A vendetta? George the V, right? George the V, remember, five is also the number for grace. Remember falling from grace, all right? Falling into that condemnation. That's what the English monarchy has done. There's still maybe an hour or so, a couple of minutes in the hour for them to repent. But he died after seeing it. What was this gift that Hala Selassie I gave to George V that caused him to die? What was it? It's silent on it, right? Britain, right, the house of Ephraim, some say, did receive John's blessing. But only Ethiopia, the house of Judah, stretched forth her hands to him. Not Britain for sure. For sure. Now this is from another site right here. You understand? Um, and the site is Tyre and King Solomon's Temple. Go look it up while it's still out there because a lot of other link pages, they've been taking them down and, you know, some of them have, been, have gotten lost and everything. All right, and now we're pointing this out so those who are catching it, you, you know, you're on the tip of the spear. All right, so it says, they have truly lost this pride and dignity. You know what I'm saying? In the days of Charlotte Sophia, remember Charlotte Sophia? All right, remember Charlotte Sophia? Go to essays by Ecoa, you know, the black of Britain, the seas that created Europe, that really civilized Europe. Really, it was that black blood that civilized that righteous African, that righteous black man, you understand, know woman and child that civilized them. You know, but the hostile takeover took over, right? In the days of Charlotte Sophia, 
right? And um, these Ethiopian British, these Ethiopic British kings, she says it right here. These what? Ethiopic British kings and queens, the Davidic uh, lineage was there, but no more. But no more. You understand? But no more. The country of Ethiopia has been truly blessed by Jah. You understand? Jah, according to Psalm 68, verse 4. Not no Jabalan foolishness. That's blasphemy there. Right? They not only contain the Ark of the Covenant and Judah's scepter, but Israel's throne too. Right? But Israel, this is why we say to the Ethiopians, repent and pray. You understand? Pray that Solomonic prayer. Second uh, Chronicles uh, chapter 7, verse 14. That's the key. If my people which are called by my name shall what? Humble themselves and pray. Right? Pray. Right? But no more. So Israel, Israel, right, um, the country of Ethiopia has been truly blessed by John. They not only contain the Tabota, um, Zion, or the Ark of the Covenant and Judah's scepter, but Israel's throne or the throne of David. David had a son named Solomon. Solomon had a son named David. That's the Ibn Hakim, and the Ibn is the mason or the stone. Right, and he renewed the kingdom of David in the highlands of Ethiopia. All right, um, so here it says that so the monarchy must be restored by Crown Prince uh, Zerahiako, right, our future king and emperor of Ethiopia. Now, Ethiopia is who, and this is according to D. Finney who i rather teach the people about than Britain, right? Ethiopia is the origin of civilization, not Britain. Britain is one of Ethiopia's daughters. And the mother, Ethiopia, must be taught first before the daughter, before Britain. For the picture of Queen Charlotte Sophia reveals that Shemite, Right? Shemites slash Hamites or Kamo Shemitic Afro Shemites were in Britain after all. But these uh, white racist scholars tried to hide this fact. It's Rael, right? Also extended the Israelite monarchy to the British Isles. But were Shemites, not Japhetites, right? Ethiopia is Yehuda. And Britain is Ephraim. They both received the scepter and birthright blessing. But Britain lost it. Yet in Adesiti to Jerusalem or New Jerusalem, Judah and Ephraim will unify again. And this is according to Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 16 and 17. All right, and there's a link right here. But that link um, has been taken out, um, this 12 tribes live up link, and there's much more, you understand, on this page. I mean, some very interesting, you know, this is, this is, this is where, you know, this is where the Rothschild, uh, so-called Jews, or Revelation 2 and 9 Jews, you understand, are trying to push things to this abomination that causes desolation. And we see in Ethiopia this double hit against church and state also happening at this um at this present time all right so when we point to these things i want you to recognize exactly what we're pointing to right here in fact we had that page essay by ecoa you know saying let's see if we can just bring this up right we're still on this tire of mystery right um actually just to show how they hide these things right because we were talking about um previously before so you see this link right here Right, this link right here. Let's go to Edward the the Third of England. Right, Edward the Third of England. Let's let's um pull up Edward the Third of England. Who was Edward the Third? Well, he was the one who founded the Order of the Garter. Right, and it's according to their own information and other information. You know, the truth is out there. You understand? They might try to fool some of the people some of the time, but they can't fool all of the people all of the time. And so here we go. Here's Edward over here. Right, but let's click on. Let's see him a little bit better. Right? Let's see him a little bit better. Right? Um, boom. You, you see right there? You see Edward? Edward III of England, the Order of the Garter. 
right? This is the order of the God. To, oh, okay, you said you can't see it too well right here. Well, let us um get full resolution, right? And, okay, here we got full resolution. Can you see this a little better right now? Okay, let's go into his face, right? Okay, there we go right there. Let us see if we can um try to finagle the machine right here so you can see it a little bit more clearer, right? Can you see this clearer? Okay, now, is this a white man? Right? I mean, come on. Is this a white man? He is the founder of the Order of the Garter. Then they have the audacity to say that, well, Hala Selassie is the only one from Africa that received this order. Do you understand this particular order, the Order of the Garter? Well, of course they had to give that to His Imperial Majesty. You understand? Recognize the fact. And we can see the Garter right there, right on the shoulder. You see the guards are right there, right, on the shoulder. That's the belt. You understand the belt, you know, like when, you know, daddy's home. You understand daddy's home. So we see this right here, right? So let us notice and understand the knights in shining armor. You see, he's wearing his shining armor right there, right? You can see the shining armor right there. If you go to the museum, you see all that. And they were knights, right, because of the contrast of the silver and the, their black skin. You know what I'm saying? Can you clearly see that this is a black man? All right? I hope you can clearly see that this is a black man. If not, go see your optometrist, right, and, and ask them for a new prescription. You know what I'm saying? Or pray, Christ, restore your sight. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's understand this right there now. But now let's understand what they do, right? So if you go there, Edward the, the third. Now let's go down the page, right? And here the face has been blurred out. You understand? Very interesting that they blur out the face. You understand? They blur out the face right here. You understand? They don't want to really show you what he looked like right there. You see how they blurred it out? They, like they rubbed it out. They say no higher resolution is available. Let us just um, save, a, save a copy of these things because they might decide you know, some editors might come along and say, oh, wow, this is disputed right here, so we got to take this off for right now. You know, some they recognize people are going to ask too many questions. You know, they're going to say, uh, how come you haven't told us this? Are you racist? Mommy, Daddy, are you racist? You say, why are you racist? You understand? Um, so when we go down, we see this right here. We see fortunes of war. Then we saw this picture here, which was interesting, too. Right? This is not what they call him right here. Do you see that right there? They call him the what? The Black Prince, 14th century. The Black Prince. Right? The Black Prince. Overstand that. The Black Prince. So they try to make us think, oh, they did His Majesty a favor. They didn't do His Majesty a favor. You understand? In fact, right? In fact, um, yeah, so you see a little clearer. You can see the complexion. Right? As you go clearer right there, you can see the complexion. You know this? You can see the complexion right there. You can even see the red, gold, green over there if you, if you look at it. Can you see clearly? This is, this is the same king. Right? This is King Edward. Edward III. Uh, Trinity. Right? Edward III. Very good. You know what I'm We want you to recognize who really founded that particular order in the black nobility and the black monarchy. Right. All right. So um, we're going through this at lively pace right here, the overs, because then when we come down, we was looking through the page, you know, his reign and you know some of the coins or the great seal. This is a part of his seal, I think, on a horse. Uh, it looks like a horse. Yeah. Now look at this assessment and character. Now here's where the whitewash comes in. You understand? Notice where the whitewash comes in. Right? I want you to see this very clearly. This is the whitewash that has come in. Right? Um, really, you know, um, really no further resolution is really uh, necessary. But, but, but I want you to see something for a moment. Let's bring this up. Right? Let's uh, put this here. Let's paste that there. Right? Let's paste that over, 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 over her. Right? Right there. And let us... So now they say... Look what they, they say this painting is from the late portrait in the late 16th century. So look what happened in two centuries, in 200 years. You know, when we study English history, we'll be able to see 
really what happened a little more clearer. You know what I'm saying? Let, I, want, I want to just compare this side by side. You know what I'm saying? I want to just compare this side by side so you can basically see what they have done. As from that last page, we was pointing to, so we have this right here. Let us uh, go, let's see if 75 is good enough. Well, we're going to go just to the face, right? So let's, uh, let's go to 125, you know what I'm saying? And let's go like this and bring that forward, right? You see what they've done? You see what they've done? And you can see that this is the older one. Right, Th this is how he really looked, and this is their new whitewash. So we even see this. I mean, come on. I mean, I mean, what is wrong with these people? To to, to be white? Are they racist? And you don't want to talk about all oh, human rights for everybody, so forth and so on. Are they racist? Notice he don't have no cross up here. You understand? Know Notice he has a cross right here. You understand? You understand? He don't have any cross up here. You understand? See the see the big differences, and saying let, let us understand that right there. I want you to take a snapshot of that, you understand, and really get a good, you know, get a good um, a good uh picture of that, you understand. So let's take a snapshot of that, you understand. There we go, right there. So you can see what's going on right there, right? You can see clearly what's going on. Right? We said we were gonna show you that from before, so. This is why we went there because after reading that part, um, after reading that part right there, right, and then we had the link by essays by Koa, right, and that's a black Briton, you understand? So we said, but wait, you understand? But wait, when they say that His Majesty, you know, is the only African king, right? So we're looking here at a, at an African five times removed. Right? Five times removed. She's holding the orb, representing the sun, the scepter, the staff, and crown, representing the horns, which were all original African iconic symbols. Right? They call it the world's queen. We question that right there. The world's queen. Right? But we know who she comes from. She comes from this one right here. Let's go to uh, 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 Charlotte Sophia. Now, um, who is the brother, J.A. Rogers? He basically, you know, he goes into that in detail. And we have to really give thanks, right? Let's see if we can bring up her picture a little more front and center so you can see this clearly. You know, so I don't know how clear you can um, see this right here. But let's take this picture right here. Let us uh, um, copy this image, right? Right, and let us paste this image right here, right, and let us uh, zoom in, right, and can you see? This is a black woman. This is Queen uh, Charlotte Sophia. Now, it's interesting when you see how she is portrayed in the history. Then you can recognize their racism, their diabolical um, racism that goes on. This is a black woman, right, Queen Charlotte, who we were just reading about on this page over here. Right, we was reading about her on this page on Tyre, right here, right? And when we go up to right here, on this page right here, right? So you can see all that, put all that together, put all these pieces together, you understand? And it's very, very, it's very, very clear. Now, this is the real background that none of these guys here, they want to lie and, and hoodwink and bamboozle you like they write this during the Italian invasion of Ethiopia in the mid 1930s, Empress Selassie not only visited but also har but was harbored harbored by the you know that harbor belongs to the black nobility, the British royalty, right? Um, King George the Sixth, right? King George the Sixth and Queen Elizabeth for five years, right? For five years during the Italian, right? During the Italian um, occupation. All right, so what is the mystery entire, right? What is the entire mystery of the matter? Now, we see Yeshua HaMoshiach, he goes to the coast of Tyre. Just as his majesty went to Bath, right? Bath, England, right? And it goes on, and it talks about and from Jerusalem and from Indumea, that's the Edomites here, and from beyond Jordan, and they, about Tyre and Sidon, a great multitude, when they had heard what great things he did, they came to him. 
and saying they all came to him when they heard this this greatness of Yeshua HaMoshia, the same way they came to his imperial majesty, 72 nations now, right? And going on in chapter 7, it says, and from then he arose and went into the borders. Notice where he went. He didn't go into Tyre, but the borders of Tyre and Sidon, and entered into a house and would have no man know it, but he could not be hid. He could not be hid. We're speaking about Yeshua here. So, as the father, or the, the son, so the father. And again, departing from the coast of Tyre and Sidon, he came to the Sea of Galilee and through the midst of the coast of the Decapolis, or the Ten Cities. So you can see that the whole Tyre connection right here, right? The whole Tyre connection, the Tyre connection in its um, in uh, Tyrety, right? And there's some very important other verses that we don't really have the opportunity to, you know, go through the fullness of it, but link Tyre with um, Ethiopia. Now, what is interesting about Tyre is when you look up now this uh, 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 Lucifer conspiracy, right, this Lucifer conspiracy. I think they have it in the English Bible in one place, right, Lucifer conspiracy. It's in uh, Isaiah, right? Isaiah chapter 14, right? At verse what? At verse 12. Now, this is what has happened. How Britain lost their, you know, how they, how they lost it, right? Now, we have Lucifer one time. Remember, Lucifer is a Greek, is a Greek word. I mean, is a, it's, excuse me, a Latin word. Lucifer is Latin. So they translated this from the Hebrew, it would not be that. But they said, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, right, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which we which this week in the nation? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Right? I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. They had designs on Ethiopia from the very beginning, right? I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the Most High. But what happens, it says, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did, uh, that did shake the kingdom? You understand these kingdoms? that made the world a, as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of the prisoners. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. Now this is speaking about the fall of Babylon right here. It says, but thou art cut, cast out of thy grave, like in the abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain, thrust through for sword that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden on the foot, right? This is speaking about how Babylon, right, is getting cut, prepared to get cut off, right? It says, Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial because thou destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers would never be renowned. So when I talk about the sons of or the children of renown in Genesis. Don't don't confuse that. Some of the, the Hashem, those of the name, right? Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that did not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities, right? With cities. This was, you have to really understand this prophecy right here. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh's ever oaths, and cut off from Babylon the name, the remnant, the son, and nephew, saith the Lord, saith Yahweh, he who be who he be, his imperial majesty. So let's also understand the other place in um, Ezekiel, right, Ezekiel. Let's look up the anointed cherub, right, because the cherub were the bodyguards. Right? The cherub was the bodyguard. Remember, there was a bodyguard conspiracy against his imperial majesty. 
and now we have that in Ezekiel, Ezekiel uh, 28, right? Ezekiel 28. It says, Thou art the anointed Kiru that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God that walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. But now, who is this directed to? Right? Who is this directed to? Well, let's come and, come and let's see. Right? Right? Okay, when we get to the... It says right here, it, it says the prince of Tyrus. And you have to remember that Tyrus, right? Tyrus, the prince of Tyrus, right, is Tyre. The word of Yahweh, he who be who he be, came again to me, saying, Son of man, Bain Ha Adam, right? Say to the prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord God, Adoni Yahweh, because thine heart is lifted, is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art a man and not God. Though that thou set thine heart as the heart of God. Now you see the connection of Tyrus, the daughter of Tyrus. Right? Two or three witnesses, and we're giving you two and three witnesses. It says in verse 3, Behold, thou art wiser than Donnell. They think that they're wiser. The daughter, right? The daughter of um, Tyre and her bankers, right? The Jews who call themselves Jews. You understand? The Rothschild Jews and those who control the inner city of London. Mm hmm they think that they are wiser than His Majesty. They think they are wiser than the, the righteous. You understand? But thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret they can hide from thee. You understand? With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou hast gotten riches. Mm -hmm. Now, isn't this the story of Great Britannia? The sun never sets on them, right? This is the story. Right? With thy wisdom and thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches, and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. By thy great wisdom, and by thy traffic, that word traffic, go do a little search on traffic in the Bible, T-R-A-F-F-I-C-K. Right? By thy traffic, hast thou increased thy riches, the slave trade. Great Britannia, I mean, go look at the anthem. Right, the anthem of Great Britain, they would never be slaves, but they would virtually make almost the entire world, right, a, a slave, they enslave the entire world. Of course, they spin another narrative, but the Bible is right and exact. And thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. You understand? What do they mock Ethiopia? What do they mock I and I for? Our poverty, right? Right? So because of their riches, their heart is lifted up. Their stolen riches, right? Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, uh -huh. thus saith Adonai Yahweh, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of God, behold, therefore will I bring strangers upon thee. Now look what's happening in America and in England. All these strangers, right? You know, from the Middle East, the Mohammedans, the Arabs, the Islamics, the different people, the Africans, they're all coming in and they're saying, what, what, wait, 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 hold for a moment. I mean, we said bring us your tithes, your, your poor, your huddled masses and everything. But this is too much. Why? Because there's a whole racist agenda right there. If they was really about their word, they would embrace that. You know what I'm But they don't. Or the Mexicans. They, same thing. But the strangers are coming in. The terrible of the nation. And they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom. And they shall defile thy brightness. The Illuminati, they're going to defile that. That's what's happening. And they already know this. You understand, many folks out there in the whole um, conspiracy reality world and the theory world, plus the reality world, are bringing a lot of these elements to be it. Right? But we stick with the scripture. You understand, the straight and now, not turn to the left or the right. You understand, but walking in the way, the truth, and the life of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Ezekiel 28 and 8 says, they shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are what? Slain in the midst of the seas. You know, then where is England? Where is 
that is in the midst of the sea. Right? All this. Wilt thou yet say before him that slayeth thee, I am God? But thou shalt be a man, and no God in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Thou shalt die the death of the what? The uncircumcised. By the hand of strangers, for I have spoken it, saith the Doni Yahweh. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus. Remember the gift that his majesty sent to Edward the fifth? And when he looked upon it, he died. You understand? Know that, that's what happened. Remember the Duke of Gloucester said, we will serve you. You understand? Know Remember Revelation says, reward them double for how they have served you. You understand? Know so we're seeing the biblical prophecy actually come into full effect right here. Now this lamentation is a song. It's a certain type of song. It's like a sad song, like a dirge, right? Um, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus. And say to him, so now we're on the point where they're saying, well, who's going to succeed um, Queen um, Elizabeth the, the second, QE2? You understand? Who's going to succeed her? Will it be Valheim or will it be Charlemagne or Charles, right? Which one so, shall succeed, right? Thus saith the Lord God, Adoni Yahweh, thou sealest up the sun, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Right? Thou hast been in Eden, right? The garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. And we look at England and all the stones, the Hope Diamond, all that out of Africa, right? Every precious stone was thy covering. The Sardis, Topaz, and the Diamond, the Beryl, the Onyx, and the Jasper, the Sapphire, the Emerald, and the Carbuncle, and Gold. The workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created, right? Verse 14, thou art the anointed kiru, or cherub. The anointed means it was christened. So this is how Satan, right? It's a regame yuhun be geta yesu sim be seminar be dim be simu be dimu, right? This is how that, that, that being fell. He fell from grace. This is similar to the bodyguard conspiracy against his majesty. It's really one and the same thing when you understand it. You understand the role of the cherub and the role of the kubur of the benyot, right? So the anointed cherub that covereth, right? And I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God, of Ha Elohim Baruch Hu. As we, as we see in the picture right here where the English queen, right? Where the English queen, not her, not the real... Right, that's 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 uh, Charlotte. You understand? That's the daughter of I and I people. That's their whitewash here, right? To take away from this, right? So we have this right here, and then let's move this down. That's why when you see in the English reports, the old English reports of His Majesty, it speaks so wonderfully, really truthfully. But then we get the BBC report from Jonathan Dembley, right? And then there's a whole change. You understand that a whole change went on. Some compromise went on right there. You understand? And there's a judgment. There's a, a time, a space allotted. Now, notice this picture right here. This is His Majesty, right? And um, his, his Imperial Majesty, our Divine Majesty. Now, you see where in this picture right here, you see where they're in? They're in the garden. You understand? They're in that garden. They're in Ethiopia. You understand? They, they, they was able to walk up and down in Ethiopia. All right? Now, understand this. Now, remember, the, the husband, is, he's been in the news a lot, too. All right? Let's see if we can get that picture. He's been in the news a whole lot as well. All right? Let's see if we can um, pull up that picture. Not here. All right? Let's see, see if we get this. We could actually maybe close this because we have that. You understand? You know, as... as that, that that sickening whitewash right there, right? Um, we have this a normal handshake. You over know, that right there? It's a normal handshake, you, you know? Um, and they know this. But right now they see that. Okay, here we go right here. Look at this picture here. This is a very interesting picture right here, right? This is a very interesting picture right here of His Imperial Majesty. Now, you notice this is the Duke right there. This is the... Uh, um, 
the the father, right? The father of Charles, right? And the grandfather of the two boys, the one that likes to pose around naked and stuff like that and dance with some black African woman. You know what I mean? The one that likes to smoke the weed and, 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 and talk about Nazism, so forth and so on, or to dress up as a Nazi. But notice this picture of His Majesty. You can see a little bit of the trepidation on her face right here. You understand? You can see this smug one right here, the father of, of that one, of, of the two, of, the, of, the, of the, the, the son and the grandson. But I want you to understand what the word says, you know, what the prophetic word says right here. So here we have them in that garden, right? Here we have his imperial majesty. You can see a much more pleasant attitude right here, much more relaxed. You understand? Much more relaxed right there, right? And then you can see um, his majesty pointing out something. And if you see the video, the video is really interesting too. They might be showing it now since they're doing a lot of, um, you know, um, Commonwealth. You know, they're, they're expanding after these 70 years, right? From 41, 41 actually. When when they leave Ethiopia, it was about 42 actually, because they tried a little thing there, but it didn't really work. You understand? So we wanted to show you that so we can link that with this right here, where it says, "Thou was." Upon the holy mountain of God, right? Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity, till rebellion was found in thee. Till iniquity, right, was found in thee. This lawlessness, breaking that covenant of 